Compensation within Dynamics 365 for Talent allows you to manage both fixed and variable compensation for the employees in your organization. From the dashboard, we can click on Compensation Management, which takes us to the Compensation Workspace. Within the Summary tab, I can easily view the fixed and variable compensation plans I've created in my environment. You can see I've created nine different fixed compensation plans relating to my band, grade, and step employees. I've also created a plan per compensation region. I've got a central, east, and west compensation region. By selecting a particular compensation plan, I can view how many employees are assigned to that plan as well as drilling down on the details of those employees. I can also look at the compensation structure being used in the compensation plan. In this example, in my grade central region compensation plan, I've assigned seven different levels to this compensation plan which tie to the job. I've also used a three-point reference system indicating I have a minimum midpoint and maximum reference points. I could come in and make changes to each individual cell within the compensation structure or I could make mass changes to the compensation structure. I could do a percent or a flat amount change. In my example, I'll make a 3% change to our compensation structure. I could then choose to make the change to each one of the rows and columns in the compensation structure, or I could decide if I want to make just the change to a particular column or reference point. By selecting maximum and choosing apply to the grid, you can see I've just adjusted my maximum reference column by 3%. At any point, you can hit the reset button to set the values back to their original. In addition to viewing the fixed and variable compensation plan information, I can see I have a tile indicating that I have 29 employee results that are needing my review. We currently went through an annual review process and are giving employees merit increases. Within the system here, I can see that Charlie Carson was receiving a 3% increase. I could come in and edit this value, change the recommendation amounts based on feedback from peers as well as his performance rating, and then change the status to approved before loading that into his employee detail file. In addition, I can choose the analytics tab to view compensation metrics that we're using in our organization. To build these metrics, we've used Power BI. You can see I have a variety of different information relating to each one of the compensation plans and salaries and the different types of workers I have in my system. This gives you a brief introduction to the compensation capabilities found in Dynamics 365 for talent.